Welcome back to Virtual Realms. I'm Ranger One. We've got a little project that we're in the middle of right now. Hopefully this will only take a few minutes, but I kind of wanted to bring you guys in on it. Um, we're still in the Hidden Lake on the island map for Ark Survival Evolved. And I decided I'm going to add centralized power to the Hidden Lake uh, Canyon itself. Um, I've already thrown it in in one area, but I'm not real happy about how that's working out. Right now, it's over in uh, this area, over in the watchtower. The problem is, the way that building's designed, the trike power plant that uh, from the steampunk mod that I want to add, it really crowds that building, and it's not centrally located here in the Hidden Lake area. The, the center of this area is really the lake itself. So, I think I'm gonna have to maybe build a, a tower there to house the power plant. They, a, a tower of power, if you will. Um, trike power. But we'll see how it turns out. I think I'm gonna use the pyramid here as a base uh, to center everything on. So that uh, if I wanna make some additions to it later on and have it all tie in with walkways or what have you it'll all be at the proper distances so I'm gonna use some foundations and I'll probably put some ceilings in here too and and uh, come up with some Adobe um, supports and a walkway there where it seems natural to walk around the base of the pyramid and then out across uh, a raised walkway to the power plant We'll fiddle with this and see if I can get it to look the way I want it to. Oh, and for the walkway itself, I'm going to rough it in in uh, Adobe. But for support, instead of running pillars all the way down every two squares, I'm just going to use the, uh, well, the Pillars Plus uh, mod to provide some additional support as I go out and across. You can also use, if you use the Structures Plus mod, you can use their dynamic pillars. It'll do the same thing. We can go back later and make it all uh, look right or replace them entirely, depending on what we end up wanting to do. The platform itself is going to be a simple hexagon shape. We'll use five triangular ceilings to form the um, each side of this uh, hexagonal ring. And I think that'll give us enough space for the track power station and to form a, a tower or a platform out of uh, everything that's left. Still going to have to use a lot of the uh, Structures Plus or the Pillars Plus uh, pillars to keep everything up uh, while we work on it, but I don't think that's going to end up being a big problem. And I may not go with pillars at all. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Let me fill everything in here now. Okay, here's a, a good look at the basic layout. Truthfully, everything else from this point on is just adding in layers of detail. Um, I'm going to skip over big sections of that because you would end up uh, throwing in whatever details you want. We'll just hit the high points here as to how my build ended up. Uh, and still not sold on the whole pillar idea, but we're going to go with it for right now. It may very well change before we're done.
Well, this is how things ended up. It was certainly a process. At first it was too tall, and then it was too fancy, and then it just had too many pillars, but it ended up all right. And I think it's going to serve the purpose quite nicely for the power plant. And I also put my simple, simple spawner module up there, too, just to get it up out of the lake itself. And that'll regulate the wild animal spawns in the area. So, all in all, I'm pretty pleased with it. And it looks pretty cool at night, too. I think sticking primarily with the steampunk mod and, well, the fact that I use the cantaloupe paint on the pyramid here that I'm standing on, as well as on key elements from Structures Plus over there, I, I think it blends nicely with the steampunk mod. And it ties both of these buildings together, I think, pretty well. I hope so, anyway. Anyway, that's more than enough for this short update. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts on the episode, uh, leave them in the comment section below. And if you liked it, be sure and give me a thumbs up and perhaps share it with some of your friends. In any case, I'll catch you next time. And until I see you again, take care.